What's up everybody, it's your boy Code One or 2 aka Aiden and welcome to another video. Uh, today I want to talk to you about the potential uh, trade rumours that have been uh, going around about Denzel Valentine, how the Bulls would be, uh, would jump at the opportunity to trade Denzel before the trade deadline. Uh, so just to get started, or based on uh, Wendell and uh, his current uh, situation with the Bulls, so being starting out from Michigan, I think he was very uh, highly, highly thought of as a very good role player, uh, potentially to be a very good starter in the NBA. And I think so far that's it's kind of been still what is thought of him. I think he's a very good bench player and um, he can be a good starter. But I just think that injuries, inconsistencies, uh, defense, all of those things have kind of uh, stunted his growth in the NBA. And plus four years in college, so he has uh, time isn't really on his side. I mean, I know he's still young. He just came back from nearly a year, uh, more than a year's worth of an injury. So obviously, it's going to take him a lot of time to get back to what he uh, what he probably thinks he should be, or probably what he believes that he can be. But he's doing uh, he's not doing bad at all, and I'm not going to say that he's been terrible or anything like that, but. The Bulls trading him, I can kind of understand it. I mean, they might be trying to uh, redesign the team in a way. So, because they're just trying to show some ambition, try to show uh, a lot of a lot of uh, changes in order to try and make the playoffs and try to improve our record. So, I can understand the trade happening. And out of everybody, I can understand why Denzel Valentine is the one that's being singled out as the one that the Bulls would be very happy to trade. Um, but I think overall, what will we get out of Denzel Valentine being traded? I mean, he's the, he's a very unique type of player, Denzel Valentine, for his size. Very good passer. He could play point guard, honestly. He can play point guard for any team that he um, steps on the court for. So that's something that we need uh, valued return back. We need quality back. I know we're not going to get like a star player or anything like that, but I do think we need some decent uh, bench options because I think Denzel Valentine is a decent bench option for uh, any team. He he's very diverse. He can do a lot of things on the court. He can he, he can be a point guard. He could be a spot up shooter. He's a very good shooter and he's a very good passer. I think people really um undervalue or underappreciate Denzel Valentine, what he can bring. So maybe it's not the best idea to trade him, but it's also not the worst idea either. We do need changes in the team. We do need um, maybe a little bit of spark and maybe a trade, maybe a new player or maybe a couple of picks. Whatever we, we get, if, if this does uh, come to fruition, Whatever we get is probably the things that we're going to need. So we're going to have to trust that the organization knows what they're doing. I really like Denzel Valentine, so I don't really see um, trading him as a very ideal option. But look, we've got to make changes somehow. And it looks like there's a lot more that could be coming from the Bulls. Denzel Valentine might not be the only one that's uh, on the trade block at this at this time. So we just got to we just got to hope that the organization know what they're doing. Uh, with the with recent trades I, I can kind of put some faith in uh, our owners and and uh, the general manager and all of them because some of the trades that they've done has been questionable like the Derek Rose trade but uh other trades has turned out to be do fairly well for us with the with the uh, Zach Levine and uh, Jimmy Butler and uh we ended up getting Chris Dunn as well, Larry Markkinen. So they that one trade kind of started the fra started the rebuild, and it's done fairly well for us so far. I, I think for both parties, well, not for much for the Timberwolves now, but for Jimmy Butler and for Zach Levine, I think it's been fairly well. So I can put faith that uh, there's going to be a decent uh, trade, a decent return for Denzel Valentine, but. Overall, it's not this video is not going to be very long. I just wanted to give my opinion out there. I really like Denzel Valentine. I think that um, he can he can do a lot for us. I think he just needs to be given the right opportunities. I know he's not very happy because he got demoted to the bench again. I th I don't think he should be on the bench to be honest. But like defensively, 
with him starting with Zach Levine and Larry Markkinen, it's a problem. It's going to be a problem. There's not much defense in that team whatsoever starting. So I can see where they're going to, why they're going with that, playing Chris Dunn and Sadaransky as two defensive type players who can also have a little bit of offense about them. I can understand where they're going with that because I think our defensive, uh, our, our team's overall defense is not very good. So... Uh, it's making our starting lineup probably a really uh, one of the worst defensive starting lineups in the NBA. I don't think it's a good idea, especially with Wendell Carter being out as well. Um, so yeah, I can completely understand him not starting. Uh, bench wise, I think he definitely needs minutes. He definitely needs minutes. If he doesn't get minutes, then I, I then it's there's no point keeping him. I remember at the start of the season, even when he came back, he barely got any minutes. And when he did get minutes, he shined. I uh, I remember the Clippers game. Who can forget that Clippers game? He he played very well in that game. I think that's what Denzel Valentine does. He's very streaky. He's very consistent as well. But that's uh that just just the way it is. So, who? What do I think we can get out of him? Um. Look, I wouldn't mind a couple of picks, to be honest. Uh, maybe a player, uh, it depends on the type of player. Like, if it's a player that can help us now, then I'm not going to be opposed to that. We need a very we need a very good bench option for if we're going to trade Enzo Valentine. But I'd prefer a couple picks. Let's get some picks, but it might not be, he might not be worth that. But overall, I don't think we should uh, trade him unless he's going to, unless there are signs of him uh, wanting to leave the Chicago Bulls in the future. But if if everything goes well, I can still see Denzel Valentine being a good piece for us. I know he hasn't been um, what everybody expected from him. Everybody, a lot of people expected him to be a star, and that's that's not happened at all. He's definitely not a star. He's been nowhere near a star. But I don't think anyone can deny, maybe on a different team, maybe it's just not a right fit for the Bulls, but on a different team, I really think he can... Uh, he can be a very decent starter, and he can also be a very good bench option. So you got to watch out for that because just because it doesn't work out for the Bulls doesn't mean it's not going to work out for another team. So if we're going to trade for a player that's not working for us, we need to make sure we get the right value because it can work for another team. We can't get uh, short-sighted or we can't get... Uh, I guess we need to be greedy in a way was what I'm trying to say. We need to make sure we get exactly what we need and we shouldn't settle for something that we don't need or settle for something just because Denzel Valentine's not working for us because he's a good player and he's still young. So we need to get proper uh, proper assets back in order for to make this uh, trade somewhat decent. Anyway, that's all I have to say on the matter. Um, when more trades could be coming. Uh, Denzel Valentine's not a shoe in to get traded by any means, but uh, I think uh, there's been a lot of rumors that the Bulls need to revamp. They need to re. This is what I said before. They need to revamp and reevaluate everybody and see if they're good enough. And maybe this is the start of what's uh, start of that happening. So we'll see what happens in the future. This could all lead to a positive uh, outcome this season, but it could all lead to maybe another uh, potential top five pick to a seventh pick again. And we'll start rebuilding uh, for the next season. But let's just all see what happens. It's only halfway through the season. Only time will tell. Uh, please like and subscribe for more. Uh, there's going to be a lot more uh, trade rumors coming coming from the trade deadline. I might talk for about more than just uh, the Chicago Bulls. There's going to be a lot of potential trades that, are, that could be happening. A lot of interesting trades. So stay tuned for that. This is your boy, Code 102.